fetal intervention for uh, myelomeningocele or spina bifida is a very uh, special consideration. It's the, because it's the first and, and presently the only fetal problem that, we're, that we've gone after that is not life-threatening because uh, babies born with this problem don't die. But they certainly have, uh, it has such a major impact on their life that I think it's very reasonable to go after. So the question is, what can we do for it? <clears throat> and the thought is this, that um, there is some of the damage that affects the kid's life is done uh, just by virtue of the fact that the that there's an opening and it is exposed to amniotic fluid and it rubs and and it's in other words it's traumatic damage that component you could argue we could help there's a second component that we could help and that is the the relationship of the problem in the head the excessive fluid buildup hydrocephalus and, and its relation to this and that's something we studied in animals and showed that if you plugged up the leak that you could prevent the development of the Chiari malformation, which gives you hydrocephalus. So those two components, ongoing damage to the spinal cord and the hydrocephalus problem, might be helped by uh, fixing it before birth. What can we do? Well, although we've m looked at many ways to deal with this, the only one that really is practical now is good old-fashioned surgery. And it's just simply that. It's, uh, it's doing the repair that would be done after birth, before birth. And to do it, we have to do open surgery. Open the mom, open the uterus, do the surgery, close the uterus, close mom. And of course it has the consequences of that, which is preterm labor and, and those troubles. <clears throat> is it the right thing to do? We don't know. That's an honest, that's absolutely straight from the heart. We don't know whether the intervention is worth the complications for the gain that we see. Because the gain is not what we had initially hoped. It's not that the kids uh, can now walk and don't have trouble with their bowel and bladder function. Um, but there does seem to be some gain, maybe some gain in those functions, not complete. And, and there does seem to be a gain in um, the degree of hydrocephalus and the need for shunting after birth. Because we don't know, the only responsible thing that we can do is what we initially proposed to the National Institute of Health and subsequently developed with some of our colleagues in other places, uh, Philadelphia and Vanderbilt, um, to do a proper study where uh, we compare treatment before birth to treatment after birth and see which is better. And because we've committed to do that along with our buddies, um, then, uh, then the, what we're going to do for you now is to refer you to the so-called MOMS study, Management of Myelomingocele Study. Most important uh, things about what we're doing in spina bifida right now is that we're doing a randomized prospective trial, the MOMS trial. The reason I think that this is so important is the fact that this is the first time that fetal surgery has been applied for a non-fatal fetal defect. The decisions that get made at the end of this trial will influence the future direction of fetal surgery for years to come.